Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Subsistence Land. Well, not quite Subsistence Land. It's actually the Alpha 62 update uh, notes. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it seems like yesterday we were in Subsistence and, and, well, we're back. Why? Because Alpha 62 has dropped as of December 20th, 2023. And look at that, we got an airplane. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's, I think, the main feature of the update. Though there's a lot, you know, there's a lot in here. So, all right, the first thing, uh, we're going to go through the release notes and then we will be going into the game and we'll, we'll see some of the changes, probably not all of them because, you know, usually that's difficult to do. But, uh, random plane events. Players will now experience random plane <laughs> flybys during gameplay. Uh, on occasion, these flights will crash down somewhere in the world, providing players with an incentive to venture out and discover the wreck and loot its cargo. I've heard about this. You can get scrap from it. It's actually kind of cool. Um, the intention is to incentivize players to explore further from their bases and add unpredictability to the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. It adds more value to utility to vehicles. This is something that Cold Games has been trying to do for a while. He's been trying to, you know, get people to go out, uh, out and about, um, he specifically put stuff in the caves that you couldn't loot anywhere else so that people would go down to the caves, uh, that, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, look at that. <laughs> there's a, there's a, in this image here, there's like, a, there's a base up on, above the waterfall, uh, in the, uh, that's, I think that's the new, new, not new area. That's the older new area. Yeah. You get the idea. Uh, but anyways, uh, the, pi uh, the pilots will dynamically toggle the plane lights during night day-night transitions, and the drone of the engines will alert players to incoming craft. So that's kind of neat. We can see them. Uh, flight paths. Oh, this looks kind of complicated. <laughs> Look, we got somebody's got a base. They've got a vehicle. We've got bases over here and over here. There's a one. Of, this is multiplayer, obviously. There's somebody there. Okay. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, flight paths are procedurally handled uh, and unique for every flight. Oh, that's cool. So it's not fixed patterns. It's procedural. Uh, they'll enter a play space and attempt to ex uh, attempt extensive flybys of the playable area before exiting and flying out into the wilderness. Uh, during the flights, they are coded to dynamically traverse the landscape geometry. So they'll fly, they will fly over mountains and down into valleys, avoiding peaks. So they try to follow the contour. That's kind of nice. And then there's a crash. Sometimes they, bad things happen, apparently. Uh, crash site. On occasion, flights will go down and uh, crash, creating a huge fiery explosion and sending vibrations and echoes of the impact across the map. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Look at that, all that the fire and everything. Uh, players will be able to observe crash sites by their burning debris fields and a column of smoke from the burning fuel. If enough shroud of the map, so basically fog of war, has been uncovered... Uh, the flames of the crash will be visi visible uh, from the map view. So that's basically like, you know, how we look for rogues. Uh, same basic, same idea. So you can look for the fire from the map view, but it sounds like there's also smoke. So you, you don't even need to look at the map. You, if it's, if you could see the area, then you could see a smoke sort of coming up. That's kind of, that's nice. Oh, these guys look mean. <laughs> Pilots. <laughs> um Crash sites and its cargo will be defended by its pilots. These guys are packing lever action rifles and 44s so they can deal a lot of damage and will be friendly, will not be friendly to players trying to scavenge from their wreck site. Oh, I guess they're guarding. See, these guys are, uh, what, what is this? Lever actions and four. Wow. That's, uh, that's going to be interesting. And then look at that. They got a helmet. Uh, a, a new shiny helmet. So they're the they are armored and can be identified by their white pilot helmets. It's possible for players to find a pilot helmet. However, it is extremely rare, similar to a deep day, a deep cave miner gas mask. I don't think I've ever found one of those. So, yeah, rare. Uh, okay, and then they've, oh, there's there's crash site loot. Um, so they'll the aircraft cargo crates will spill out amongst the wreck. Uh, these crates are sealed with metal straps, so you'll need to break open to access their loot. We'll have to find out if it's uh, you break it open with your axe or with your pickaxe. Uh, but apparently, um... oh, it doesn't say. Okay, uh, th <laughs> I imagine it does damage. Oh, look, this, this, somebody's using a pick. Oh, but that's to get the yeah. This is uh, the debris from the wreck is also a value. Almost all of the parts of the wreck can be broken down to yield scrap. 
Uh, this will cause this <laughs> this will cause usage damage to your tools over time. I imagine that breaking these guys open will cause damage as well. So, and he's using a pickaxe for the plane to get scrap, but we don't really have any indication of what we're going to use for the the boxes. Um, probably the same, I'm guessing, maybe. Now this is interesting too. So regions, uh, it's a fairly large change. Another uh, move to encourage travel and exploration. Uh, the world is now broken into separate regions and can be viewed from the map, uh, the overhead map view. So you got these little lines. Uh, each region has different weighting for the ores, minerals that are available within them. Some regions may have abundance of one type of ore, yet a little of another. So yeah, if you're, if you're over here and you need silicon, it might be over here and you'd have to like traverse to get to it. That's the valley, by the way. Um, vehicles now become more valuable be as a means of travel to regions that require resources within daylight hours. For more careful planning of routes on foot is required to secure, um, needed resources. So you could go on foot, but you know, if you just wanted say one ore, you need a lot of it, you'd, you'd figure out where it was and then you'd, you'd boot on over there, get the ore and then come back. So that's kind of nice. Um, it's an interesting change. Uh, while in the map view, uh, scrolling over a region will show the weight of resources available within it. So here you go. There's the, you know, high, moderate, very low. Uh, and you can turn that off. If you find that kind of busy, apparently you can turn it off. There's a little toggle. That's kind of nice. Uh, currently regions only control distribution. Oh, ah, ores and minerals only. Okay. Uh, it, but he does see a potential to expand this in the future for wildlife and vegetation. Technically the cougars are kind of region locked, but it's fixed, right? Uh, so you do have to go to the mountains to get a cougar. Um, so th that kind of is already true, but not really, but maybe mooses, maybe there's like a, if you need mooses, <laughs> there's a moose section. Uh, it's tricky to balance. So he appreciates feedback. All right. That's cool. And then, oh, and this is, of course, what we were talking about before. Uh, this probably is the fiber, probably medicinal plants. So these are the new bushes that you have to harvest from. So the old individual fiber and medicinal plants have been completely replaced by modular bushes. They are now way more abundant and easier to spot. Well, we'll see about that. I, I'm so used to the old stuff that I'll probably have trouble. Uh, the purpose of this is to make the natural environment more more dense with inter interactive foliage rather than just static bushes. Uh, so the, the, there's an increase of around 700% uh, fiber and 400% medicinal. Of course, that some... Yeah, okay. Due to large increase, recipes that use these materials have been increased for balance, but of overall players should have more abundant supply. So the apparent, apparently the intent is not to reduce the, the supply. But, I mean, I converted my stuff because I had stuff already in inventory which would have been devalued. So that's why I was converting it. Uh, foliage harvesting physics. So the, the, uh, the bushes use destructive physics so players can see the bushes snap and break down as they harvest, kind of like Ark, I guess. Uh, he's hoping that it'll uh, make for a more satisfying experience. We shall see. We shall see. And there's a new bench, uh, electrical bench. It's, uh, you, okay, so you make it in the BCU and uh, there's what it kind of looks like. There you go. Somebody's all decked out for Christmas, apparently. That's a lot of Christmassy stuff. Uh, I approve. <laughs> this bench now handles various crafting options uh, for electrical items. So there's, yeah, a bit of scrap, uh, a bit of electrical pieces, wood, and, you know, a bunch of mass and power to make it. We're going to have to make this, by the way. I did scan the notes, and you'll see why. Um, look at that. There's um, apparently a, I mean, I guess this is a soldering iron. There's solder. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's kind of primitive, but okay. I mean, you know, we did make it from scrap and, and bits of electrical stuff. Uh, some of the existing electrical items have been moved from the workbench crafting menu, as well as adding new items that can now be crafted. So, uh, these look like capacitors. These look like ICs. Uh, that we've had these before. They're the they're the circuit boards. That's what I was making in the last episode. Uh, batteries, uh, the battery cells, the battery battery, the the starter jump start thingamabobber uh, flashlight. And then this is the door charge. We're going to need a door charge for um, uh, Operation Plaid, where we're going to try to do the three base wipe in one day. So we're going to have to make this. This is necessary. Um, right. So capacitors. So you need, uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. 
Lithium and pearls. So that's a new ore. We're going to have to get that in order to make capacitors. And then uh, the pearls, we have a supply right now, but we could probably get, we'll get more um, eventually. So semiconductors, ICs, integrated circuits, also crafted using the electrical bench to refine, sil oh, silicon and obsidian. So you need them to make circuit boards. So probably the circuit boards, meaning these guys. And you also need the capacitors to make the circuit boards. This is why I was making circuit boards, because I knew that this was going to get horribly complicated. Um, yeah. And then also, uh, we have, so we have new mineral types. We've got lithium, silicon, and obsidian, right? Um, and then, you know, he's, he's distribution imbalance will, may need some tweaking. So he's looking for feedback on that. Now, apparently, um, there was something, yeah, you know what? I'm not sure. Oh, he, yeah, I think he mentions it. Maybe he mentions it later, but essentially, uh, because of the increased cost of, uh, circuit boards, uh, I believe he is now, um, reducing their, like if you wanted to make something and it needed like for the BCU, for example, it needs six of these. I think he dropped it down to five. So he reduced the requirement. So they're, they're more premium product. Um, Anyways, uh, color grading overhauls. So he, uh, basically he makes it, he's making it pop, <laughs> uh, color saturation and contrast, contrast depth have been bu boosted. I have, I'm a little worried about this because, uh, at night that could ha backfire quite heavily. Um, it could make, um, like when I, I do a lot of color grading, uh, I try to do stuff at night when I, in my videos, uh, I, I do have a color grade that I apply to try to make it so that you can see more. And I know I've done, I've, I've done a lot of adjustments on <laughs> subsistence video over the years. And, uh, when you increase contrast, that's bad. <laughs> that really hurts. So we're going to have to see what, what that does. Um, uh, first person arm grabbing. So basically there's like a, you get, you know, you get, there's a hand for grabbing. This is for fiber, I guess. Hunter AI. Ooh. So he's uh, noticed that the hunters often crowd in a single pace of cover, uh, leading to predictable patterns. Um, they, are they, <laughs> they are now aware of the positions of their squad mates and will seek independent cover. So they'll be doing some flanking maneuvers. Oh yeah, here we go. Th uh, this means they'll be able to flank a player's position. That should be, that will make it interesting. Also, uh, there was a bug where they get stuck on buildables while, sw while swimming. I don't really have a lot of buildables in the water, so I don't really run into that very often. I mean, I do, you've seen them, but yeah. Uh, fixed hunters not responding to their squad mate being killed by a single headshot. We've noticed that. That's one that we have noticed. So that's kind of good. Uh, tighten the spread on the pump action and double barrel. Interesting. So both the pump action and the double barrel have had their spread tightened. This makes it the more powerful at mid range. Uh, it's not necessary to wait for the enemies to get point blank to do uh, max damage. Um, yeah, it, this does mean that hunters also benefit from this change. So be careful when you hear that pump or double barrel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the double barrel has slightly tighter spread. It always has, by the way. That was when it was introduced, it had a tighter spread. So that's just reiteration, reiterating that. Uh, harvesting foil, foliage and scrap regrowth respawn rate. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, previously, the game did not remember harvested plant scrap between saves. Uh, reloading a save would result in 100% respawn. Now, I don't really take advantage of this, but I do do it. Like I'll do one a daily session. Right. So I do kind of, but not really, because I don't really go out to loot until the next day anyways. Um, so in addition to this regrowth and re okay, so basically, um, now it's saving the, the, the spawns and, uh, the regrowth, okay. The regrowth respawn rate has been slowed. It can take three in game days to replenish an area of resources. That is interesting this is again um it means that players will be re rewarded with denser resources if they travel further afield staying in one location all the time will mean fewer and slower resources uh so yeah he's trying to encourage travel and exploration this is a common theme and not just in this update i mean he's been pushing for this for for a long time uh there's a fix with the garage door fob apparently yeah i don't really i only have one fob and one door but apparently there was something about which door it opened 
that was fixed. Uh, boost packs uh, duration increased. So strength boost is now three to, three minutes to six minutes. So it's from three to six. Adrenaline is from three to six. Heat packs are from two to three minutes in duration for how long they happen. And we got some new uh, predator skins. Now I did pick these up just because uh, I, well, did I pick them all up? I think I did actually. Um, and then there's some other notable changes, uh, optimization, save game logic, save files are now faster and use an, around half the file size. That's kind of nice. Um, five, I mean, it's it, most people, it's not really going to affect you too much, but it does it probably yeah, faster. So it'll reduce the time it re required to do the save. So that's good. Uh, fiber stack count increased to a thousand because of the devaluation of the individual fiber units. Uh, same with the medicinal, uh, medicinal plants. Uh, he added shadow casting for destroyable, buildable fru uh, fracture pieces. And okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, I guess it just, it just now it just casts shadows. It's part of the light map. Okay, I get it. Prevent bushes and foliage, foliage from blocking AI navigation. Really? Okay. Uh, fixed a bug where the uh, players would get stuck on initializing world. Added better handling to ensure loot hunters and hunter bases cannot respawn outside the fence. Fixed a bug where the camera uh, player camera would still move while in the menu <laughs> if entering the menu while transitioning out of the map view. Wow, that's an interesting one. Uh, re <laughs> that, <laughs> that would probably be difficult to reproduce. Reduce the requirement count for circuit board for several craft upgrade recipes. Yeah, that this is what I was talking about. So he he made circuit boards more expensive, but then he reduced the their, the requirements for them. All right, and he's like, uh, hope everyone has a great Christmas and ha and a new year. Cool games. Well, you too, cool games. Um, very cool. All right, uh, let's get into the game. Oh well, here we are. So uh, my um <laughs> my little uh water uh, fishing hole is still here. And uh, things do look uh, they're, they're a, a little more uh, saturated. So the color is a little, is uh, definitely a little more. Yeah, that's what he's talking about, the color grading. And it, it, it does appear a little contrast. You see how it's sort of dark uh, with the walls here. And we'll probably see it on when we go into the base. Eh, yeah, I mean, you can see the contrasty kind of nature of it, right? So the darks are darker and uh, all that sort of stuff. As I say, we'll find out whether how much of an impact that has during the day. Now, first of all, this uh, let's get this sucker uh, filled up. There we go. And uh, we've got, I think we were making biofuel. Yeah, we're still making biofuel. And then let's put away some stuff. And then, uh, did I leave that light on? Is there a light on out here? No, it's because of that. All right, cool. Ah, <sighs> where were we? The plan! Oh yes, well the plan was to make some uh, some of this stuff and go, and go down and do a cave run, but we've been rudely interrupted by an update. <laughs> oh, also, um, we could change this over to the, the uh, Woodland Camo. Uh, there we go. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, it's Christmas. Oh, we actually have a snow helmet. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Um, I am going to put Christmas back on, though, because, uh, you know, that's it's that time of year. All right, now, uh, what else do we have? Uh, I think the pistol, I think he, he has a skin for that as well, the Predator skin. Ah, oh. Oh, hang on, can we see it? Eh, not really well, but, but you could see it there. Look at that. Okay. All right, and then... Um, did he, I think he made one for the double barrel too, didn't he? Uh, yep, predator skin. There it is. <laughs> it's got scales. <laughs> and then the shotgun, but I don't use the shotgun. And the last is the rifle. So there's a, a nice skin for the rifle now. So there we go. Oh, actually it looks super fancy. Oh, and look, you can even see it's kind of textured. All right. Well, that's kind of neat. Um, so that's that. Now, what the first thing? First things first. We need to. Uh, well, let's take a look at what we can't. Well, um, wait a minute. Power and mass four seventy two. Uh, yeah, I am generating mass because yes, because we're generating. Yeah, we're generating mass. So therefore, right, 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 right. That's why. Um, the power's not climbing very quickly because uh, because we're generating mass. So four in, three out. 
So only currently net uh, a net of one in. And so that's going to take, it's going to climb, but not quickly. So let's just let that build up. And then, um, yeah, I think uh, what we have to do is take a look at what we need in order to build the new workstation, which is right here. There we go. Uh, so let's put together the materials for this. So 10 scrap, 12 electric, and uh, 10 scrap. Oh, man. You know, I'm looking forward to these planes because my scrap issues are, they've been dire for quite a while now. Uh, is it 10 or 12 of these bad boys? Hang on a sec. Uh, what was it? 10, 12, yep, and then 12 electrical. So, uh, these guys. So we'll grab 12 of you. No, not 13. There we go. And then, uh, so we have all the materials. We just need power and mass. Uh, we're almost there for mass. What we, you know what I think I'm going to do to accelerate this? Let's turn that off. Uh... Use use some of I, I, of the meat that we've uh, accumulated to basically bring that up over 150. Once it, we're going to need a lot of mass anyways. This is not a waste. So, and there we go. So this is going to climb pretty quickly. I'm hoping. 552, 54, 57, five, nine, 8, nine. Well, yeah. Look, it's going up very quickly. Output is 64. 0.64. Input is 389. All right. Now, um, I need to eat. <laughs> I'm feeling a little peckish, so we've got a couple of livers here. We got some, maybe one of you. Let's have a tomato for good, good, uh, good measure. Maybe a carrot and a kelp. We're trying to get a balanced diet here, and some water. There we go. You know the nice thing about filling your canteen, actually. Um, can we? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, you can't drink snow, so you can't accidentally drink it. So that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a minute for me to get used to this new, uh, brighter, more colorful world. You look very good, though, Christmas tree. Uh, oh, how's the potatoes doing? Almost ready. Okay. What is the situation with uh, 761? So we're, we're getting closer. We need 850 power and um we'll be there very quick you know no i i, I was gonna go out but i mean we're already at eight eight oh eight ten yeah this is not gonna take long we're gonna be at 850 before too long so uh, i was thinking we would run out and do it oh there goes the water okay um i th i was thinking we would go out and do a bit of uh looting just to get a feel for things maybe oh we could spot the new uh bushes and stuff uh but first, let's make the uh, let's make the new workstation, the electrical bench. And um, oh, by the way, let's go take a look while that's being made. So the workbench now does not make a lot of the other stuff. So it it's it's stuck, or not stuck, but it's um, reduced to just uh, more mechanically things, I guess. You know, like bows and you know, Molotovs aren't, aren't mechanical. You, you know what I mean? Uh, and then things that require electrical bits and pieces. Oh, that's a, that's a bug. <laughs> oh, well, that was weird. It was kind of sticking to my mouse. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, where do I want to... I mean, we could put it right here. Uh, how about we put that there? No. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do this. Oh, everything's kind of sticky. Oh, maybe that's just a change in the way the UI works. Ugh. I hope... I hope that does get... Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Let's put that there. And then let's see what we've got. So uh, capacitors, right? So we're going to need lithium. We're going to need uh, silicon. We're going to need these new materials. There's your circuit board. A couple of semiconductors, a couple of capacitors, and electrical components. So you know what? That's not too bad. I mean, it's not great, but you know what I mean, right? The rest of this, I think, is... Um, this looks like... These look like the same recipes from the before. So that's kind of, you know what? I'm happy that this didn't change. Although it does need one circuit board, which we uh, just happen to have a spare of. So that's kind of nice. Regardless, um, I do think that we're going to need to go out and get the uh, the new ores. So maybe we should do that. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Oh, oh it's very, I forgot it's winter. So uh, you can see the little region lines, the little blue, but... Um, what do we? What's in my local region? 
iron and then low on everything else. So copper, zinc, and potassium. Oh, no lithium and stuff like that. What about up on the mountain here? Obsidian, moderate. Oh, so if we want obsidian, we could go up there. Uh, what about... Uh, over, what about... Oh, wait a minute. Over uh, Deep Cove Inlet. Really? Deep Cove? Seriously? <laughs> that is a part of... Uh, it's like a little uh, section of the lower mainland. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's called Deep Cove. But, um, yeah. Uh, if anybody knows what Arcteryx is, that's where their head office is, is in Deep Cove. There you, there you go. <laughs> Deep Cove. And then... Uh, but that's this is outside the map. So, what, so if we want silicon... We could go take a look over there for silicon. Now that covers, I guess that covers all the way over here uh, on the far side as well. We could go take a look. And then uh, in this little foresty area, copper, it's basically mostly iron. In the little valley over here, there's some lithium, but not much. And we go to the new area, I bet you anything, it's going to be like heavily weighted towards the new materials. Yes. Yeah, we could see that coming. <laughs> obsidian oh maybe not there though what about uh up here there's some uh, lithium uh how about at my old base iron it's the standard the old parts of the map are gonna have a little bit of silicon over and what's what are the names of these headland bay clear springs falls okay i'm edgewood passage creek view peninsula so there's creek view that because of the creek and then this is like bridge peak pass right and then we've got knoll crest rise uh-huh uh, maple stone grove green glades meadow okay deep cove inlet where's my base my base is currently right here it is in silver birch falls i mean okay and then uh fraser's gorge Oh, my base is in Fraser's Gorge, actually. Who's Fraser? <laughs> uh, but there you go. So, eh, I mean, they're, they're, they're very uh, skyscape uh, plateau. And Bay Stream Falls. We've got uh, Ridgeline Heights. Harmony Valley. Oh, my goodness. That sounds positively abysmal. I, I'm not, I don't know about the Harmony thing. It's like, uh, you know, it's not harmonious is what I'm saying. All right. Okay. So, uh, okay. 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 Let's do this right. So we want to go and find, um, well, we're not going to find anything interesting here. Let's go see if we can get some silicon from Deep Cove, or we can go up and get some obsidian uh, from up above, up here. Okay. All right. I think that's a plan. Oh, by the way, I think the weather's uh, improved. So let's let's head on out. And we oh we can spot the new bushes too. Well there's loots up there. I got I've already gotten distracted. Have you noticed this? This is the thing. Yeah, it, it does there, everything's kind of got a bit more um uh it is a bit more contrasty. So, you know. Um oh, I guess in winter these are just standard bushes. Hello, rabbit! Okay, but in winter... Oh, that's probably right there. I bet you that's a... Uh, that looks like, what, fiber? Oh! <laughs> so how much did we just get? We just got four from that. Really? No. That seems really low. Okay. All right, how about, let's see, uh, that was four. Okay, seven, so each, each, uh, swipe is just, uh, but it, I guess that's the, the, the point is, uh, there's more of it. Oh, oh, did you see that? It, you swipe to pick up the rose hips. Oh, that's kind of interesting. All right, so where's the medicinal plants? That's the, uh, that was fiber. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's see if the, uh, let's see if the animals behave any differently. Come on, up you come. Here, puppy. Oh, I don't have my axe. <laughs> there we go, gotta get my axe together. Oh, and there's a deer running in the background, nice. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Let's get you. Come here. Come on. <laughs> the deer's like, thanks, man. It's, I really appreciate that. Oh, don't thank me. I No, you know what? I'm going to leave the deer alone. <laughs> He's like, hey, what's going on over there? You don't want to know, buddy. But I am going to go and get the... Uh, I am going to go over here and get this uh, building crate. Uh, we haven't heard the, uh, the, the uh, plane yet. Now, it's, it is an event. Oh, what's this? Okay. Okay, uh, there's a sound in the background when you do that. Is that more fiber? Yeah, more fiber. There's a sound in the background. It reminds me of the sounds that, um, that hunters make. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh, you know... <laughs> it gives me the willies. It's that sort of whoosh. There's a whoosh in the background. All right, you know what, wolf? Here, come here. Oh, okay. You're just going to stop. All right. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the ice sheet. I am going to wash my hands. Uh, have to wash my hands soon. All right. Got eh. Medic medicinal crate, as usual, is a bit of a letdown. All right, so, you know, I mean, it's not... Okay, I need to I need to experience this a little bit more. And, yeah, I see that's kind of cool, though, with the hand when he when he uh, leaps out there and he gets uh, grabs things. But that is that is just uh, potassium, right? Come on. Uh, oh, you don't right different wrong game. So, yeah, that's just potassium. Yep. We don't care about potassium, but we got it anyways. Uh, over here, oh, we got some scrap. Oh, you actually, um, <laughs> you actually use your hand. And there's a lock crate over here. So, yeah. Well, we don't have any, uh, mass or power right now. Oh, so that, it's interesting. Even picking anything else up off the ground, you, you do, you, it, it does the little, uh, the who's and what's it's. <laughs> that background noise is, is gonna it, it I, I keep expecting there's uh hunters nearby. Yeah, it's this it's a it's like a whoosh. <laughs> you know what? Probably get used to it eventually. Got more fiber. Is this medicinal plant? Yeah, that's medicinal plant. Yeah, so there's a lot of it, but you really do have to go after it. So, yeah, I think time will tell um, as to whether it's uh, how useful or how how this is going to feel, I guess, in the long run. All right. Um, we were... Oh, there's, an, there's the eagle right there. Uh, let's go. Let's keep going. We were headed over in this direction because we wanted to go and see... Uh, the, the this area over here whether we had the I can't remember what it was it was it um, not <laughs> one of the new ores let's just call it that so we do have rocks over here it's kind of hard to spot things let's see nothing it's winter so everything's kind of white and kind of uh, <laughs> bright and uh, yeah although you know it depends on the ores I guess I'm not used to seeing the new ores so oh. how many yeah I have literally so I've harvested two bushes of medicinal uh, medicinal plants and I can let's see I can make no biofuel. You need 12 to make one biofuel. So it's it's uh, three times as expensive. Yeah. Uh, well, like, uh, like I said, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh. 
now. Is there any animals over here? Am I going to be running to anything? There we go. That's that's what I was wondering about. Is Mr. Wolf over here? All right, come on, buddy. Over here, here, boy. That's it. Grab you. Maybe have a couple of lit of uh, steaks. Actually, uh, I am going to wash my hands because. Uh, it's been a bit of time. There's something up on that rock there. I don't think I recognize it, so I think it might be something new. It's possible. That's copper for sure. That could be iron, but what is this? That looks like iron. Um, not too worried about iron. Oh, you know, we didn't check. We did not check the... Uh, oh, please tell me I can I can get up there. Oh, for crying out loud! Is is it? I don't I I don't really loot over here, so I'm not even sure if you can get up on this rock. Can you? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that doesn't look like anything even remotely interesting. It looks like stinky potassium or or oh no, it's iron. Iron's okay. But that is not what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, new uh, fancy iron uh, materials. We've got tons of copper. I'm not going to harvest that. Okay. Let's keep looking. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Uh, I think uh, for biofuel, I never use medicinal plants anyways. Uh, for biofuel, I'm just going to stick to to animals. <laughs> my 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 base will continue to be powered by wolves, but we do need fiber, so okay. That's new. That is definitely new. Let's see what we got. It is silicon. We got three. Do you get less? You get less ore from a, a node. I'm noticing a trend here that I've only gotten like three, three, three. You used to get a random. It was random. It was. It could be four. Uh, you could get, but it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember for sure. Hello, rabbit. What are you doing out in the middle of the the lake? <laughs> He's just hanging out. We got the deer over here. Now this, um, all of this area over here is still, I think it was called Deep Cove. Yeah, Deep Cove Inlet. So this up here, this is all uh, silicon moderate as well. So, hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's like, oh boy, I better get going. Uh, there can be ores on these rocks on this little island. In fact, there's an ore right there. But now that we know that the the, spe the special ore that we're looking for is silicon, and we know that it looks very radically different, we know that that is definitely not silicon. At the, oh, that is... Oh, you actually, that is the... Uh, okay. Did I leave any behind? No. And then more medicinal plants. Just a couple. Yeah, nothing here. All right, let's. Oh, there was something here. What is that? Was a that was an uh, a special one? It wasn't there. I could. I. I'm. I'm pretty sure we didn't see it. Unless it was like hidden somehow. Oh, that's a bummer. If it was there and I just missed it then uh, I'll be... Uh, that's kind of disappointing. All right, now. Let's see. There's the fence line. Yeah, I was coming... I was trying to sidle over to the right to see if I could spot a fence, but... Um, all right, we got rocks here. Anything special? Nope. <laughs> How about that? Well, that looks, uh, no, I, that looks like stinky zinky. Yeah, it's okay. Zinc's fine. You know what? I shouldn't insult zinc. We need zinc. Oh, oh. Okay, the evening's, uh, increasing its eveningness. 
as far as the lighting is concerned. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so we got more zinc. Now, am I still in Deep Cove? No, I am now in... Oh, I'm still in Deep Cove Inlet. So we've got a little bit of uh, ways to go. And we're still in the, uh, the desired biome. So yeah, I've gone all this way and I've gotten three. I mean, you know... It's not like uh, it's not like it was super productive before. So, anything on that one? Oh, you know what? Hang on a sec. What what region is uh, or uh, ortastic in? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are you? Oh, I can't tell. Hang on. Oh, did he? They changed. He changed the look of it. Edgewood Passage has silicon, and then Ormazing is over here there's we're amazing uh only copper it's got the old this the old standard stuff okay uh oh we've got uh, there's definitely an oranging happening here it's the oranging all right nothing too exciting on that one and we're losing daylight we've got one more wolf that we need to take care of Hey, bud. Come on. Oh, um, I'm going to get the scrap. I might as well get this too before it goes. Though, I think he did say that spawn respawn timers are much longer now. So maybe stuff doesn't come and go as, as frequently as it used to. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we're starting to get out of the... Oh, no. We've still got a little bit we can look at as far as uh, hoping for some uh, silicon. That's zinc right there. <clears throat> the map better say that uh, zinc is obscenely uh, abundant. Does it say that? Does it say that? No, zinc is very low. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with that evaluation. Um, I am seeing a lot of zinc. Okay. We've got a wolf over there. Do you see what I mean? Wait a minute. Okay. Is this one of those situations? Oh, no. Don't do that. Where... It, it, look at how glowing it is. It says zinc. Nope. Okay. So we get... For zinc, we get four. All right, all right. I was afraid that it was there was always going to be three. Okay, we did. We need to get back. We need to get back. Yeah, this is kind of what I was afraid of. I mean, it's not a it's not a great moon tonight. So, oh, those are robes. Oh. Oh. Should we do a nighttime rogue a thing? Uh, you know what? I've got a pistol. I've got bullets. Let's do it. Now, is that a white wolf? Oh! Oh, <laughs> the timing! Oh! Oh, that felt wrong. Oh. Oh, I gotta get used to the timing. Oh. <laughs> I, you have to do a double shot, and my second shot didn't didn't fire. I'm gonna have to double check that. Oh, that's uh that's not good. Okay. Uh I think I can't see very well, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in with the uh I'm gonna actually you know what? Hang on, back up. Uh, let's do this. Oh, we can... Let's do... Oh, I almost have no power left in the, uh, light. Uh-oh! <laughs> they spotted me! Uh. 
think we're good. All right, we don't have a lot of flashlight time left, so that's one, uh, two, and three. That's what I get for messing around with my, uh, <laughs> with my equipment. I thought I was far enough away that they didn't spot me, but apparently that's not true. Now, where is their campfire? Did it go out already? It might have. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, let's get, let's get, uh, let's get home. Now, if I turn off the light, you know, it's not bad. Oh, Piggy! <laughs> Hi, Piggy. It's not terrible. Um, the visibility, it, there is only half moon, at, but the thing is, in the snow, uh, visibility is usually pretty good, right? Uh, so I'm not sure if this is brighter or not. Uh, I usually am, like, I, I often turn off the light uh, lights when I run through snow on a clear night like this, and the moon is out. Oh, hey, moose! <laughs> and then there's wolf. Hello, wolf! Now, I do have to be mindful. I don't know what my protein, uh, my food level's at, so I'm not sure what is going to happen with my stamina. Did we lose our wolfy friend? Here, let's, um, let's do that. Actually, have one of those, maybe a couple of those. Uh, get it, maybe a berry water, one, of, one more of you. Okay, we're good. Let's boogie. We're just uh, trying to give them a berth, a wide berth. Do, 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 do. And we're not far from home. All right, so, um, the only thing we haven't seen yet, well, okay, I mean, we haven't seen some of all of the details of the update. Uh, I don't remember all of them, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen everything. Uh, one of the thing, the big thing we haven't seen is the, uh, the airplane. I haven't seen the airplane. <laughs> I think that was a rabbit. Maybe we're going to see the airplane at night. That would be kind of cool. Get to see him with his little, uh, he's got his lights. What is that? What are you, what are, what are you, uh, uh, hang? Oh, you're a medicinal crate and a, a copper. With a berry. You know what? Here. Uh, I'm just checking out random ores on, on stuff now just to get a, we're just sort of, you know, getting a feel for things. This looks like iron. Yeah. All right, let's get home. Let's get home. It's uh, it's getting late, or it's actually well past late. Do 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 do. Womp womp. Oh, we get a medicinal crate on my base. This is going to be the the kind of the test, by the way. Let's see how the lighting looks in, at night. Oh. Okay. It's very, um, uh, contrasty. That, 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 and that this is what I was worried about a little bit. It's not terrible, by the way. I don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not moaning about it. But the, 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 the downside, you know, when you try to do a little bit of, uh, like, color grading and contrast... Oh, look, there we go. We got, I think that's the... I think dawn is coming. Uh, you do get a bit of this sort of kind of thing. Yeah, see how the sky is just starting to... Oh, and we're getting snow. <laughs> but you get this... Uh, you get how it, it's very, you know, contrasty. And the corners, the dark corners are very dark. Now, is that a big change from before? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm going to have to see what it looks like when I try to lighten it. Uh, I might have to adjust my, my co the color grading I do for nighttime. We'll see. But, uh, you know what? Um, in general, uh, I mean, we got three silicon. There we go. We'll, we'll refine it and see what... Uh, here, you know what? Let's put uh, the other ores away in here. You can go away here. Uh, what else? Let's put away everything else. 
28. Uh, oh, right, right, right. So we got, on that little outing, we got 53 uh, uh, fiber. Now, keep in mind that 53 fiber is enough to make um, not one fuel brick. Yeah. It's 65 fiber to make a fuel brick. So all that fiber, we 50 some odd fiber that we gathered today. Now, remember, we didn't target fiber, right? But I did, you know, when I saw them, I stopped and I gathered. I did a few. Um, we didn't gather enough to make a single fuel brick. Oh, and speaking of fuel brick, there goes my fire. I got a little supply of them. They're like gold now, apparently. Let's grab you, do that, uh, put the match in there, ignite, um, put you away, okay. All right, let's put away, let's put it away, uh, the rest of our stuff here, and, uh, let's see if we can figure out any more. Take a look. Uh, you and you go in here, uh, bump, bump, uh, that goes there, that goes there, and... Okay, and we got eight uh, medicinal plants, so not enough to make a biofuel, right? So we didn't get enough medicinal plant to make a biofuel. Now keep in mind that in order to make a fire starter, you need one biofuel. And you need 15 fiber, apparently. Right? So I guess wood is, the, is, uh, is what we're supposed to be using in our wood stoves now. Uh, fuel bricks are not really kind of intended for that anymore or something. I don't know. I don't know. I am, I might be off base here. I'm just, it's just a feeling, right? I, I, I just, it strikes me that if I'm, if, oh, you hush. Uh, 29. Yeah, we want to put some of those away. If we go out and do some, just some moderate looting and we gather, we find fiber and we gather it, I would think that being able to make, well, how many cordages would we be able to make? What is that? Maybe three? Something like that? Uh, yeah. I don't think we would have been able to make four cordages. We could make three. So we, in, in all that fiber gathering today, we could make three cordage and no fuel bricks. I mean, <clears throat> first day, I like, you know, you like to make a bow if you can, right? So you need six cordage. In order for you to make a bow, you need to be able to gather, <laughs> what is that, 84, almost 100 fiber. And let's say you wanted to make a fishing rod. That's another 100 fiber or so. I'm just estimating, rounding up. So a couple hundred fiber. Yeah, I don't know. I think it makes uh, makes day one a bit rough. I, now, uh, people have reported that um, it's not that bad. And you know what? That's the thing. On a legit day one, you are you 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 start, and then all you do is gather, and you gather everything you can f get your hands on: wood, uh, medicinal plants, fiber, crates, everything. So obviously, you're going to be gathering more than my cursory little. I stopped at the odd bush here and there to grab fiber thing, because really, I did not try very hard. And maybe that's what makes the difference, right? I want my crate. <laughs> Give me my crate. But all in all, you know, I mean, I know it sounds like I'm being a little down, a little bit negative. <clears throat> um, you know, I like some of the expansion of the materials. I like, there's a lot, there's a lot to like, I think. So, uh, you know, so I think my general takeaway is I, I want to a little bit wait and see. I want to wait and see how I feel, how this, because it's, the proof is in like, not how you determine something in one day. The proof is in over time. Do you find that you're having to do this X activity or Y activity way more than you used to or way less than you used to? I don't know, but that's something you discover over time. You don't do that in just one day. And so that's where I think to be fair, right? To be fair, that's what I think we need to do. Oh, by the way, 
let's make some uh let's make something in our brand new bench uh i think we're gonna need silicon is for we could make a semiconductor uh and we're gonna need oh okay well we need refined obsidian so we can't make jack <laughs> lithium yeah okay we can't make anything well that's fine all right you know i'm gonna need a an electronics chest I'm glad I made you and I got all of you before this. Woo! -hoo. Oh boy! Whoa, Nelly. You know what? Let's make a small chest. Um, I need more. Na oh yeah, I need nails. Um, there we go. Oh, I've got a liver on me. Really? Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh, yeah, we killed the wolf. <laughs> we killed the wolf. I forgot. No, that doesn't go there. That's where it used to live, uh, but that's not where it lives now. All right. So we got ourselves a nice little chest. We can basically go here. And, and what I think I'll do is I'll put it like right. You know, p some people put stuff underneath things like you could do like this right here. But I don't know. I always find that it kind of bugs me. So I'm just going to put it like right here. Next to the... Uh, Next to there. Oh, I guess we can't get through there. That's kind of, that kind of, that's kind of, uh, you know, I don't really go through there very often. Anyways, this is, this sort of creates a little room. Oh, by the way, this will all get redesigned eventually. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so what do we want to put in here? We want to put anything like electronic pieces. Uh, let's put these guys in there. Uh, oh, uh, the obsidian that we got so there we go we've got you what else do we want to put in there uh maybe oh we could put the potassium in here uh adhesive maybe a stack i'm not i don't i'm not a big fan of breaking that apart like that but um you know what oh what the hey let's uh let's put the adhesive in here. do i want to do that no adhesive goes with the. it's used for too many uh, Okay, I'm breaking the stack. I, I just doesn't... I can't think of a way around it. I think I have to. Yeah, I think we just have to. Okay, let's not worry about it. What else do we need? Uh, circuit boards. Uh, sure. Uh, probably... Well, I don't know about ingots. Do, do ingots... Like, there's lots of things that require ingots, right? Well, the ingots are even made over here. Uh, these guys need ingots. Yeah. I think storing them there makes sense. They're not explicitly... Whereas anything electronic is going to require circuit boards, and that's you're going to have to come here for. Uh, batteries. You know what? We could finish refining this over time. Uh, I think we're good, though. But I think this is the logical home for these guys, though. So, All right. Well... <laughs> This is me doing my, uh, my my workbench. I'm st it's still Ono's workshop. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, we still need to do a cave run. I'll probably do that. Um, it'll be interesting to see what what kind of stuff we find out find in the caves. So maybe we'll do that as well. We'll do a ca yeah. Let's do the cave run in in. Oh man, actually, you know what? I just realized. What time is it? Hmm. You know what? Let's see. Let's play it by ear. Let's see what we do. Maybe we'll do a bit more looting, and then we'll do a cave run in the next one after that. Um, because I suspect that we're going to be looking at a few more things from the update. Like maybe I want to go up there and see if I could find some obsidian so I can make a capacitor. Just one. Okay. Oh man, how many capacitors do we need? Two. So six obsidian and six uh, silicon to make the capacitors for, uh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where hopefully we see a plane. That would be cool. Y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.